So here's a here's a word problem. Frank's considering two different cell phone plans. Plan A is going to cost him ten dollars a month, so that's the a monthly fee. But and then only five cents per minute for the call. Whereas Plan B is free. There's no upfront cost, but the costs are more uh, the calls are more expensive. Twenty cents per minute. So what he'd like to know is uh, which plan is the cheapest. Uh, when are the plans going to cost the same? And the only way we can find this out is to solve a system of equations. So the first thing an equation. So let's let's start with plan A. Let's do that in red. Red. Plan A. It's ten dollars a month, so we'll use C for cost. Cost is equal to ten dollars plus five cents per minute. You gotta be careful because these, these units are in dollars, these ones are in cents. So remember, five cents is 0 0.05 dollars. And we'll use M for the number of minutes. So we should say, identify our variables here. Let M equal the number of minutes. And C equals the cost. So. The cost for plan A is ten dollars, yep, plus five cents per minute, 0 0.05 times M, the number of minutes. Plan B its cost is simply based on the number of minutes. So twenty cents per minute. So that's 0 0.20 or 0.2 well we'll do that, 0 0.20 M. So if we wanted to find out where these two uh, plans are the same, we want to find that place where they intersect. Oops, let's delete that. I'm having troubles graphing here. So notice in this one, I just have a positive x and a positive y because it doesn't make sense to have a negative minutes and it doesn't make sense to have a negative cost. So what's going to make this one a little bit tricky is is um, graphing this, graphing these two lines because when you have a y-intercept of 10 and a slope of 0.5 that gets a little bit tricky to try to graph on on, uh, on graph paper. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a table of values for this one. Now, if I'm really lucky, I'll, I'll actually see my table of values, them being the same, but I, I, that's not likely to have to happen. Um, so we have our cost, our y value, and our number of minutes for plan A. This should have been C, I suppose, for cost, and M for minutes. So let's make some minutes up here when M is 0 the cost is 10. If you talked for, um, let's do 30 minutes, say, 0.05 times 30 would be, we could check this out in the calculator just to make sure we're doing it right. So that would be 1.5 times 10, which is 11.5. And then why don't we, why don't we do uh, 60 and 100? Let's do those. So 60 times 0 0.05 is 3, plus 10 is 13. And 100, that's an easy one, that would be 5, 5 plus 10, 15. So the minutes need to go to 100, so let's go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. And on this scale, the cost has to go to 15. Let's go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's good. That'll plot this one. So when the minutes are 0, the cost is 10. When the minutes are 30, the cost is 11 and a half. About there. When the cost is 60, 
sorry, when the minutes are 60, the cost is 13 here. And if you talk for 100 minutes, 15. So this would be the graph of plan A, plan B. Let's do a table of values for that. We'll pick the same points. So if you talk for zero minutes, the cost will be zero. If you talk for 30 minutes, the cost will be $6. If you talk for 60 minutes, the cost will be $12. If you talk for 100 minutes, the cost will be $20. So plotting these points, zero, zero. Uh, 30 would be 6, 60 would be 12, and 100 would be 20. Whoa, 16, 18, 20, so up to here. So here we have our two graphs, and we can see that the point of intersection is right there. Well, now you're going to see one of the disadvantages here of graphs. How can we tell exactly what that point is? It, and this is a pretty, pretty rough sketching graph here, but it looks somewhere between 60 and 70, maybe a little closer to 60 than to 70. We'll say looks like X is about 63, and then the Y value appears to be about 13. So judging from my, my point here, this looks to be about 63 or 64. This looks to be about 13 for a y value. So what we can say from our graph is, this was plan B here, and this was plan A, is that if he's going to talk for less than about 63 minutes, then plan B is a, is a better choice. It's cheaper. You can see the blue line is clearly less than the red line. But once he gets over 63 minutes talking, now plan B becomes more expensive than plan A. And as you e extrapolate this farther, the difference is even going to be greater. So now Frank will know if he's not much of a talker and he's going to talk less than about 63 minutes per month, then he should go with plan B. But if he's going to be doing a lot of talking, more than 63 minutes, then plan A becomes the, the cheaper option. Now what we can do is we can, we can test these points to see if this is indeed the point that works in the equation. So let's do plan A here first. I'm going to put this x value and this y value into this equation. And of course my x is actually m on this axis and my y value is actually a c in the word problem. So c is 13 equals 10 plus 0 0.05 times m, which is 63. So 10 plus 0 0.05 times 63, which is 13.15. So you can see it's, it's not exact. 13.15 is not exactly 13, but it's close. Now let's try plan B. Plan B was just cost equals 0 0.20m. So putting 13 in for cost and putting 63 in for M and checking those numbers on the calculator, 12.6. Again, we haven't exactly found the point, but we're close. And this is the problem with the graphing option when you do it um, just manually with graph paper is it's sometimes impossible to get the exact value by approximating our graph. So we will learn a better way, an algebraic way, a little bit later uh, to find those points exactly.
if we wanted to do it graphically, the way that we would do it is with our graphing calculator. So let's figure out exactly what the answer is. So we'll graph in y1 10 plus 0.05x. Notice the calculator always does y and x, it doesn't know about c and m, but that's okay. 0.2 times x And now the problem is, is the view window is not set up properly. So I'm going to go to my view window and it's got an x value from minus 6 to positive 6. From our graph I needed it to go from 0 to 100. And my scale will go up by 10. And then the y values need to go from 0 to, I think it was 20 we had. Let's go up by 5 on that scale. All right, now we should see our two lines. There they are, just like the one that we had graphed. And so G solve intersect. So it's telling us that the X value should have been 66.6. .6 and 0.6 repeating there. And the Y value would be 13.33333. 66.6, 13.33. .6, So if we put these values into this equation and into this equation, they would exactly equal each other. But we were we were pretty close, even with a real small little little graph there, and that information would certainly be good enough for Frank to make his decision.